I joke around with my friends all the time, like, oh, this test is going to be a killer. I'm like, if I fail, I'll kill myself, you know? Like, I don't really, I've never seen anyone take it that seriously before, though. But at what point does a comment like this become serious? Suicide is the third leading cause of death in people 15 to 24 years old. And there's always warning signs that we try to watch for. Um, and then, unfortunately, some students, there's never a warning sign. Experts say any sudden change in behavior is something to watch out for. Failures, feelings of worthlessness, um, in addition to trauma, feelings of depression, growing up in a family that has domestic violence, experiencing physical abuse, sexual abuse. Uh, some of those things are very traumatic. So a lot of things that teenagers go through can lead to thoughts of suicide. Counselors say bullying is a large factor in suicide, and teens say they see it in the schools. It was definitely a lot worse like freshman year because we were all like, packed together and couldn't necessarily like separate like we didn't have off-campus lunch like as the years kind of went on we kind of all like went in our own friend groups and stuff. Counselors at AISD say they work to maintain communication with students and step in when they see warning signs. And training for all of our teachers at the first of the year too about suicide prevention and um, in all of our elementaries and middle schools we have guidance lessons on that and um, in high school we work also with our student and family advocates, which is a partnership with Texas Panhandle Centers.